Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of functions. And if I talk about the question that is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that a function f of x is equal to tan of one degrees into x plus log of one, two, three to the base e divided by x into log of 1, 2, 3, 4 to the base e minus tan of 1 degrees. So that is the function f of x given to us. And the question further tells us where x is positive. So we have to figure out the least value that is asked to us in the question. For f of f of x and f of f of 4 over x. So we need to figure out the minimum value that is possible for this expression. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us here, the options are 2, 4, 0, 8. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us. That is the minimum value we have to find out for this expression. So let's try to solve this question further. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it is free for you but it also gives me motivation to present the solutions for the questions in easiest way possible for you to understand the solutions. Let's, let's solve this question now. So if I try to solve this question, I have my function given to us, which is if I note it, f of x tan of 1 degrees into x plus log of 1, 2, 3 to the base e divided by x log of 1, 2, 3, 4 to the base e minus tan of 1 degree. Now here if I see I have in the function tan of 1 degree, which is a constant value log of 1, 2, 3 to the base e, log of 1, 2, 3, 4 to the base e, which are also some constants. So for this function to make it easier or to understand how to read it easier, let's substitute this constant values as some alphabets. So tan of 1 degree is let's say a constant a, log of 1, 2, 3 to the base e, I'm putting let's say a constant b, and log of 1, 2, 3, 4 to the base e, I'm putting it as constant c. So now it becomes easier for me to read my function f of x. So f of x basically becomes ax plus b divided by cx minus a. Because this a and a was repeating that is tan of 1 degree was repeating. Now let's find both the expressions that we have. First is f of f of x. So let's find that. So f of x I already know. f of f of x. So instead of f of x, I am putting, instead of x, I am putting this entire function f of x. So wherever x is present, instead of that, I will put f of x means this entire thing. So if I put that entire thing, I get a into ax plus b divided by cx minus a plus b divided by c, ax plus b divided by cx minus a minus a. So from here I get f of f of x is equal to a into ax plus b plus b cx minus a divided by cx minus a. The whole thing this divided by c into ax plus b minus a cx minus a. The whole thing again it's divided by cx minus a. So from here I get cx minus a cancelled and what I'm left with here is a into ax which is a square x plus ab plus bcx minus ab. The whole thing divided by acx plus bc 
minus a c x plus a square. So let's see what terms can be cancelled out. I can see some common terms. So a b and minus a b is present that gets cancelled out. And here also I see a c x and minus a c x is present which is also getting cancelled. So from here I get this as a square x plus b c x divided by a square plus b c. So x common a square plus b c divided by a square plus b c. So a square plus b c gets cancelled. You are just left with x. So I get from here f of f of x is equal to x. Now once I have that already with me, let's put the other one. So instead of f of f of x, I got that as x. Let's find f of f of 4 over x. So since f of f of x is x, instead of x, I can just put 4 over x and that will also give me the same idea, right? So similarly, I can find f of f of 4 over x and that would make it 4 over x. So you don't need to find actually f of f of 4 over x. You can just use this idea instead of x. If I'm putting 4 over x, the answer is also going to be 4 over x. So that's the whole idea. Now let's talk about the actual question that is asked to us. We have been asked to find least value of sum of both of them. So let's first find sum of both of them. So f of f of x plus f of f of 4 over x. That basically makes it x plus 4 over x. Now, once I have that x plus 4 over x here, let's put that in the expression. So if I want to find the minimum value for this expression, one idea is I can use the concept of maxima and minima that if I solve it, I'll get the answer from that. But the better way to do this question is since I'm finding the sum of the two of them, if I divide them by two, that basically becomes the average or I can say the arithmetic mean. And since they have asked me to find the least value of this, I know that arithmetic mean always has to be greater than or equal to your geometric mean. So I understand if I apply this idea here in this question, arithmetic mean it's greater than or equal to geometric mean. So f of f of x plus f of f of 4 over x divided by 2 is greater than or equal to square root of f of f of x into f of f of 4 over x. Why square root of this? Because we know already that arithmetic mean it's a plus b over 2 and geometric mean is square root of a into b. So I get this idea. Now if I further try to solve it, I have x plus 4 over x over 2 is greater than or equal to square root of x into 4x, 4 over x. So here when it is x into 4 over x, this easily gets cancelled. So x and x gets cancelled and you are left with x plus 4 over x which was f of f of x which is the question asked to us plus f of f of 4 over x which was divided by 2. It's greater than or equal to just 4 is left in the root. So from here if I take that 2 on the other side gives you f of f of x plus f of f of 4 over x greater than or equal to 2. Square root of 4 is also 2 so 2 into 2 4. So I get this that least value of that function which was asked to us sum of the two functions. So f of f of x plus f of f of 4 over x. So minimum value or least value of this is equal to 4 because it's known that sum of the two of them is greater than or equal to 4. So the minimum value of this becomes equal to 4 and if I see the answer choice that matches here with the question, the answer is option B. So B becomes the correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of functions. So we substituted the constant values of some alphabets and found f of f of x which came out to become x and f of f of 4 over x which is f4 over x. And then further I just used the idea of property of arithmetic mean being greater than or equal to geometric mean. That gave me the answer for the question which is asked to us that is least value of this 
which is equal to 4. So that matches with option B and B becomes the correct answer for the question. I hope you have understood this. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.